Hello, welcome back to Farming Simulator. Well, not Farming Simulator, Chrome. Um, this is going to be the first of, I don't know how many videos, looking at the most recent update to Maze Plus that's been done by the Alien, the Alien Pool and the Farming Agency. Uh, so we've got the update to Maze Plus um, and the Forage extension and the CCM extension. Also the separation out of the animal food bit of the Forage extension to make it easier to play with. And we will slowly work our way through all of these. So one of the most important bits about Maze Plus, RTFM, or watch some of my videos, WTFM. Watch the manual or read the manual. And importantly, to read the manual, go to the Giants website, go to the Maze Plus page for the mod, scroll down all the way to the bottom. And you'll see a link for a PDF. Click on it, download it, and read it. It helps. Um, this is the uh, document you will have just downloaded and you will read. Um, it makes life much easier, honestly. Um, so many of the questions that you see people ask about Maze Plus are covered in here. This covers everything about Maze Plus, pretty much. And I'm not going to look at all of it. I've done videos on things in the past. Um, so you've got the green mowing where you can mow things a little bit earlier with Maze Plus. The updated tedding where rather than not tedding at all or maybe tedding once, you have to ted up to three times potentially. Um, I've done some videos on things like that in when I was looking at Chellington. So making hay and silage and stuff with grass, how to deal with clover. Um, if I remember, I will put links to all of those in the description in the bottom. Um, or if you watch some of my Let's Plays, you'll see me dealing with those things. So I'm just kind of scrolling through this while I chat it in the background. So if, for example, you're interested in doing field grass and you want to know how to deal with that, have a look in the manual. Um, it tells you what you get if you mow it or if you combine it. If you're dealing with horse grass and you want to make specific products like horse hay or horse silage, have a look in the manual. It'll tell you how many times you need to tell it. I think I've done a video on that as well. I'm not sure. I certainly did it in um, way back in my Welcome to Charwell Let's Play where they released the, the horse extension. Uh, Miscanthus, uh, you've got all things about alfalfa and when you can cut them. You, you can use the textures on the map to know when they're ready to cut. Things like alfalfa and clover and pasture grass can usually be mowed slightly earlier than you would think. Um, so I play with seasons. And on seasons, you have to wait for the grass to go to that first yellow ready to harvest stage. With alfalfa and clover and things, you can do it on the very last green stage. So it usually takes the same number of days as grass to be ready to cut. So you can get three cuts of alfalfa or clover or pasture grass in. Um, so some of the big changes for Maze Plus, and I'll probably do a video on each of them um, in turn is obviously CCM is part of the CCM extension. And the nice thing now is that the Maze Plus, or sorry, the farming agency guys have added in the fermenting silo that was on Charwell into the mod. So you can use it as placeable. Um, so rather than having to put your milled CCM into a bunker silo, you can put it into the fermenting silo. And um, that's quite nice. Um, they've also changed the grain mill as well as milling corn into CCM flour, you can also make a grain mixture to feed to your animals. And we'll cover that in an animal feeding video. The other things that they have added in and a couple of things that I'm going to touch on today when I find them, I'm going to cover TMR in a separate video. Uh, is the, the grass subsoiler. This thing is amazing. Um, now when you open a map when you're playing with seasons and all your grass fields need replowing, this thing does it without destroying the crop. And we're going to have a look at that in a minute. Um, the other thing we're going to have a look at is you can make compost on maps now really easily. Um, so if the map has compost built into it, um, there's a compost by point that's been added into the Maze Plus mod. Um, you will see that on my next Homeworld video probably because I've added that into the map. And you can also make compost from wet grass, alfalfa or clover. And I will show you that in a minute. 
and then you can add to that straw hay manure miscanthus which is an interesting one because it's the first use for miscanthus that i've seen in the game or lime um, and you put it in a pit you compact it you cover it you get compost out and you can fertilize your fields with it um so yeah just scrolling through they've added in a whole load of buyable stuff as well so there's a new brand of seeds um take a look in the manual if you're interested in maize plus i will cover some of it in these videos but probably not all of it anyway let's jump into the game and we'll have a look at a few of these bits so here we are in the game on sandy bay on the horse extension farming agency edition of the map which is available on their discord they've gone for this one because it has compost in um, one of the things you need with a maze plus map is enough height types it needs i think a map with at least 64 height types um, all of the maze plus edits of maps have at least that most have the maxed out 128 height types um, that just means that all of the extra fill types that they've added actually work and the game doesn't have a hissy fit um, so we're going to have a look at this um, grass subsoiler or sword lifter, I think it is. If you're a fan of Tom Pemberton, you might recognize this guy. Um, they used something like it last year to uh, help aerate the uh, the soil under their grass fields. So if we go into the shop under subsoilers, scroll across, we've got the grassland subsoiler seven thousand pounds or dollars or euros does four miles an hour three meter working width and 120 horsepower no options is comes as it is um so if we go back out to the map you can see i am down here in field 32 which needs plowing and it has grass in it so if we drop this guy down and get it going you will see that we are not destroying the grass and I think I'm just about inside the field. Um, and yeah, we are we are subsoiling, so we're we're lifting the uh, word the farmers use is swad, I think. As I say in some of my videos, I'm not a farmer. Um, it's really hard to tell where the edge of the field boundary is. Um, but if you look, you can see that we are getting rid of that needs plowing. The really nice bit of kit that's really been needed the number of times I've had to plow in a grass field and completely replant it. Um, if you're playing without seasons, it probably doesn't matter because grass grows so quickly. If you're playing with seasons, that can cost you a couple of days. Um, and you may end up, I will quite often wait until the end of a year in seasons to then plow the grass in so it can re-establish itself through the end of autumn, winter and into spring. Um, I'm not going to do the whole field because that would take ages. So what I'm going to do just to really demonstrate on the map. Is run a line straight down the middle of the field. What I haven't checked, actually, is if a worker will do this. So yes, a worker will, uh, will jump in and do this. And then if we go to the map, you can see we are plowing our grass field or clearing the plowing required state. And the grass is actually ready to harvest at this point. Game changing? I think so. Um, great little piece of kit, very much needed. Hope we see it in FS22. Um, and I am assuming that now one has been created, there will be the option to create them that are slightly bigger. Um, I know we all love a three meter cultivator, but you know, a six meter would be nice. Just saying, just saying. All right, uh, bear with me. I'm gonna get set up to do some compost production and we will jump over to that, I think. So we're over at the calf farm on Sandy Bay, where I did one of my first Let's Play series, so it has some fond memories. Before we jump in and look at making compost, I just want to show you some of the placeables that the Maze Plus guys have added in, and some of the other bits you can buy in the store. 
Um, so if we go into placeables under silos, um, we have the CCM silo that I mentioned. So you put your milled corn into here and it ferments into CCM. It was available on the Welcome to Charwell map and I used it on my Let's Play on there. Um, we have a Brewer's Grain buy point. Um, I will cover this when I cover um, TMR and cow feeding. This lets you buy beet pulp and Brewer's Grain, both of which you can ferment. Um, we have the compost buy point that I mentioned when I was talking about compost. Um, so we can stick this down and we can just buy compost. It's dirt cheap. Sorry about that. Um, if you watch my Oak Hill series, you'll know this. Buying compost is really cheap. Almost so cheap that it's probably not worth making it, in my opinion. Maybe. Um, but that's the placeables that have been added. There is a whole load of other stuff that they've added as well. Um, so we've got the uh, DSV brand of seeds. So we've got a big bag of that. Um, and we've got pallets of it. And I think we've got single bags as well. Um, so if you're doing your small scale farming, you can buy yourself some nice small bags of seed. Um, from the CCM extension, we've got Lipracil, which we've had before, and the refillable pallets and pallets of carrots and things. And we then have a whole new load of animal feed products from, I'm not sure how to say that brand. Um, anyway, so we've got beet chips. Um, beet chips are something you can make in the game using a, an adapted front loader bucket that shreds beets so you can feed them to your animals. Um, again, we'll cover that when we do animal feed, but you can add those to your TMR mix. We've got a mineral feed. Um, I have got some of that on Homeworld, and you probably will see this video before that. Um, so this is the mineral additive that you see a lot of farms on YouTube adding into their TMR. Um, grain grist is the grain mixture that I mentioned that the CCM mill can make from wheat, barley and oats and I'll be doing that on Homeworld in the future so I'll show you it on here when we get around to doing a video on feeding animals um, we've got sheep feed, we've got horse feed, we've got power food which is for cattle and if you know how Maze Plus works this covers the grass and clover size bars of feeding cows um, so one of the things that's changed is some of these animal feeds now only fill some bars and so particularly pig food. If you put pig food in on a normal map, it fills all of the bars for Maze Plus. On the updated one, it doesn't. And I can't remember which it is. When I edit the video, I will stick this up on the screen because I need to go back into the manual and read the manual. Um, it's a really cool addition to the game. Um, other things for TMR, which I'll cover in more detail when I do the TMR video, as I keep saying, uh, we can add molasses, we can add filtered water in. Um, these are full. These are much cheaper than um, if you had a thousand liters of molasses from the beet harvest add-on, it is worth a lot more than £120. Um, at the moment, AIM Paul has put out a notification saying not to use the beet harvest add-on with the update to maize plus because there is a conflict with the feed pallets and i think it would affect you making things like molasses but maybe you could buy molasses from maize plus and then sell it through the beet harvest add-on and make a whole load of money um yeah actually something that i forgot again if you're updating maize plus with your existing save back up your save always do that back up the old versions of maze plus as well because this changes a lot of height types and you might find things go a bit funny um, and you might end up doing what i did on homeworld and basically rebuilding the save um so yeah use it user be warned um, but yeah basically they've added a whole load of really awesome stuff which i'm gonna have to cover in a few different videos anyway um let's make some compost um it's something that I've always been curious about how you make it on maps where it's been added in and it's never been obvious to me how we make compost until now. Um, so what we need is a trailer with um, either wet grass, clover or alfalfa which is what you get when you cut grass when you've got the wet crop symbol up in seasons. Um, once it's in the trailer it comes up as grass fresh. Um, 
If I take the cover off, it's the really green grass you get when you cut it. And we have a little bunker silo here. So if we get the F1 menu up, so that we get a bit of information as we back in. Uh, we don't have the hugest trailer because I'm just going to make it a little bit to show you how it works. But you can see on the left hand side as we back in, the fill type turns to raw compost. So, and as we tip that in, it goes a kind of dark composty colour. probably spread it out a little bit more because we're going to need to compact it um we'll move this guy out there because i'm actually going to add in a trailer load of miscanthus i quite like the crop miscanthus um partly as it's a crop that grows over winter and you harvest it in the spring And if you play with seasons, once you've got all your crops in the ground in spring, having a, a crop you can harvest is quite a nice distraction. It's what I'm about to do next on Oak Glen, which is the game that I'm playing on Oakfield. Um, it's the pig farm on Oakfield Farm. So we'll back this in. Um, this stuff is grown in the UK. It's becoming more popular, I think, as a, a biomass crop for production of energy. Um, and you can see that goes the same kind of composty colour. So we'll chuck that in as well. Um, as I said, you can use hay, straw, lime, manure. And you can ferment it down and you get compost. So let's get this guy out of the way. Switch that one off as well. I have a billion tractor engines running at the moment. Um, and we're going to jump in the big Zerion. And get that compacted and covered. Shouldn't take too long because there's not very much in there. It just behaves exactly the same as anything else you would put in a silage pit now. I will get this compacted and I will be back very shortly. So pretty much done there. Actually didn't take that long at all. I really should use this big class more. An awesome tractor. I think before I started making YouTube videos, I had it on a game on Little Norton. Really nice tractor. Anyway, so we are fully compacted with 28,000 litres of raw compost. So we hit R to cover the silo. And then we wait um, a third of a season, I guess overnight, probably without seasons. Um, I've got three day seasons on, so actually it works out as a day on here as well. So, through the magic of YouTube, we will jump forwards. Excuse the F11. And we'll just speed time up and run through the night and we'll get our fermented compost. Here we go. So there we go, we have fermented compost, slow time back down again, and we hit R to open it up, and we've got compost. You get the same amount back as you put in, um, and you can then use that to fertilise your fields. So over here on the 7R, we've got a little compost spreader, which is going to load up and uh, give you a quick demonstration. Bits of this yard are quite snug. They've played a lot of hours on that farm, so it's quite nice to come back. 
but as it's a fresh download it doesn't have all of the tidying up that I like to do when I have my own farms on places. So we'll jump in the Manitou and we'll get some compost loaded in and we'll just go and fertilize the field next door a little bit. And while I've been doing this I've had the grassland subsoiler running on a worker still so we will have a look at that as well. Yeah, just going to put a little bit in the uh, spreader just so we can see it working. Keyboard controls going a bit funny. I'm not sure I would be uh, making compost particularly in game. It is so cheap to buy, and um, that grass that you're using as the base probably better off um, tedded a little bit so that you can make it into grass silage. But maybe you want to just play making compost. I love all the little extra things you can do in this game. You know? Not always about what's the most cost effective thing to do with the crop. Sometimes you do it for fun. Um, that'll probably do, I think. Let's jump back in the 7R. Causing a slight traffic jam. Um, and we have Field 6 next door. Which we're just going to spread some compost on. Oh, it's a side spreader. Can you tell I hadn't tested this? Um, but I, I did some testing, um, but I didn't save all the equipment that I brought when I tested it, and so I brought some new stuff. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, but if we go out to the map, um, you can see that we now fertilized our field a little bit. And if we look back over here at field 32, you can see we have cleared off a nice bit of the needing to be ploughed. Um, so for now, I think that's going to be it because I'm kind of planning to release these as bonus videos on top of all the normal content that I do. Um, I think in the next one, I will look at the TMR stuff because that's the thing that interests me the most. Um, and then I'll see how much interest there is in looking at some of the other bits and pieces like feeding some of the other animals. Um, thanks for watching everyone. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button, click like, share the video, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. I will catch you next time.